system has received a massive number of students. Okay, then we don't have enough lecturer to cater every classes. So that's why we have to merge. Um, yeah, merge classes like like what we are having right now. Okay, we have two classes from three C and also five D. Okay, so <clears throat> the total number of students in this class might be fifty and above. Okay, we cannot finalize it yet because we are still waiting for you to register and join GMIT. So that's why today I don't plan to teach, but I want to explain to you what is EWC 661 is all about. With a lot of number of students in this class, we have to run our, uh, our class online. We cannot do our class face-to-face or, or -face because I'm afraid, not, just, not uh, for this class only, for other classes as well, uh, those who merge, they cannot do uh, class face to face. So that's why you need to have a, a very strong internet connection when you join my class. Okay. So may I know your cover ada Are you still at home or or at the college already? My college. Please. So how's the connection there in college? Quite bad. It's good. Quite bad. Moderate, moderate. Moderate. Okay. I understand if you cannot open your camera, but those who are still at home, I, I don't think you have problem with your connection. So please turn on your camera so that I can see your faces. Okay. Now we are 45 of us here. Okay. Uh, I think more will be coming. Not sure. So please go and take your attendance first in your future before one o'clock. <clears throat> so our class is uh, once a week only on Tuesday, 11 to 1. May I know why we cannot start at 10? You have a class this morning? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, okay. All right. So, um... So is there any gap between your class and our class? Like one hour gap or half an hour? Please respond. Sorry, Afif, I can't hear you. Afif, you are from which group? Three or group five? Four, five, five. Semester five, right? Okay, so yes, do you have any gap between the, your previous class and my class? Uh, for 5G, there is no, no gap, madam. No gap, okay. So you are still in class or you are already in home, uh, home stay? Uh, sorry, hostel? On the way to hostel. On the way, okay. So maybe what we can do later is I can give you like 10 to 15 minutes for you to go back first. Or if nobody use your room, okay, you can stay in that room for my class. You don't have to go anywhere. What do you think? Okay, understood. The rest? Semester three, please respond. We have a uh, one hour gap. You have one hour gap. That is, yeah. uh, is, uh, shouldn't be a problem. We can start straight away at 11. Okay, yeah. but for semester five, maybe we can give you like 15 minutes. So semester three, you can join first while waiting for semester five to join. Okay, so <clears throat> I really hope that you can give full cooperation. I'm very particular with my students' attendance. You cannot skip my class without valid reason, okay? If you are not well, please inform me. And you have to go to KK or clinic to get the MC as a proof and submit it to me, okay? Your attendance must be 80% and above if you want to pass this subject, all right? 
So attendance is number one. Number two is you have to, um, what we call it, uh, involve. You have to involve with your group members to do work together. You have to cooperate and you have to submit all assessments in order for you to pass this code. There is no, uh, what we call it, test for this subject. You only have assessments. So please do your assessments. I don't want any free rider in your group. Okay, because we have massive number of students. Maybe we have like 50 and maybe you have to uh, create five members in a group. Okay, so everyone, you have to play your roles. You have to do your part. Okay, so uh, inshallah, everything will be okay. All right, okay. So uh, before you come and join my class, did you study a bit about this course? What is EWC 661 is all about? Anyone would like to share? Any idea? By the way, I'm not going to record my uh, presentation or my teaching or whatsoever because of the storage issue. Uh, what you can do is you can record on your hand, yeah? Okay. Nobody would like to answer. I really hope that you are here with me. Okay. So what is EWC 661? So English for Report Writing. Okay, so when we, uh, when we talk about report writing, what comes to your mind? Thesis. Thesis. Final year project. What else? Assignment. Assignment. Okay, you can, um, okay, uh, you can say like introduction, methodology, references, APA, okay, results, conclusion, all under report writing. So everything that has been mentioned by your friends just now, okay, and everything that has been mentioned by me, those are report writing. Okay, let's take a look. I have uh, shared my Google Drive in our WhatsApp group. Yeah, you can check in our discussion, uh, description. All right, sorry. Okay, so this is course learning outcomes. Sorry, someone asking to join. Where is it? Missing already. All right, so number one, to demonstrate the ability to retrieve and manage information when preparing a well-structured report. Number two, present a proposal and write a well-structured report. And the last one is to display teamwork skills through cooperation with others, respect and accept their opinions in preparing the report. Okay, because you are going to do this in your group. So please, you starting from this week, you can start thinking of who's going to be your group members and you can start thinking of the topic okay <clears throat> all right please take note yeah so weekly schedule okay so basically this week we should cover identify types of reports identify qualities of uh, of a good report and recognize the main parts of a report but never mind i will uh, give you this as your homework to go back and read so we will discuss in details next week okay and then next week also you have to determine research topics for your proposal, okay? You already have your group members. The group members are ready. And I really hope that the topics is ready. Why? Because with seats, you are going to present your proposal already, okay? Next week is week two. Week two, three, two, three, four, five. So you only have like four weeks to do your proposal. So please get ready, right? Okay. So, um... With three, basically, you have you are going to start to draft your proposal, okay? And then, 
uh, with four synthesized paraphrase and cite information from the selected materials. You might use other materials that you need to refer. Okay, and then uh, with five preparation for written and oral uh, proposal presentation. Okay, you you are not going to submit to me your proposal. You all you also need to present your proposal to the class. <clears throat> okay. All right, with six and seven, we are going to conduct this, but I'm not sure how we are going to conduct because we are uh, having like 50 number of students. I try to figure out the letter and let you know, okay? Maybe we can do it online or we call half or one class on uh, in with six and another class in with seven so that you can present a class. So uh, we figure it out later, okay? So with eight, you need to identify the different types of questionnaire. Okay, now after you have done, completed um, your proposal, you have done, uh, actually, when you, submit, when you submit to me your proposal, it means that you have done um, introduction, uh, literature review, as well as your methodology. Okay, all right. Now with eight, you have, you are going to start uh, um, uh, what we call it, uh, to write your questionnaire. Okay, I'm not uh, not going. I'm I'm not allowed my students to uh to to what we call it use uh, different types of data collecting data such as interview or observation because it requires you to more time for you to collect the data. So the easiest way is by having questionnaire. So that you you can do like in within one week to do your questionnaire and then you can just distribute your questionnaire. Okay, all right. Next one is with nine, discuss and edit the items in the questionnaire, student distribute and collect questionnaire. Okay, you, you distribute in that week and you also have to collect questionnaire in that week. Okay, and then with 10, you start to analyze the data and start to write findings and conclusion. Okay. All right, this one. Okay, this is more like format. You have to write the title page, terms of reference, Acknowledgement, abstract, table of content, and so on. All right. Okay, with draft, discuss draft of report with students. Students edit draft of the report. And peer assessment, you're going to have another assessment, which is peer assessment. This is basically <clears throat> you give marks to your team members. Okay, this is uh, time for you to give marks to your free uh, team members. If you think that <clears throat> you are having like free riders, then you can uh, give like two or three marks, okay? But if you think that you don't have any problem with your team members, please give five. This is like a bonus part for you, all right? <clears throat> okay, what else? Okay, edit draft of the report with 14 and then submit draft of full report. Okay, and with 14, you have to submit final report and also uh, portfolio. Okay, you're going to have another one, which is portfolio. Okay, we go straight to the assessments. Okay, I think uh, this one is quite clear, right? So groups, uh, sorry, with six and with seven, okay? Proposal presentation, okay? Group work or individual, what, the, what does it mean individual? Okay, duration is three to five minutes per students, all right? And in total, we have like 12 to 15 minutes for group presentation. And the weightage is 35%. Oral presentation is 15 and proposal is 20%. So marks will be given individually for oral presentation. Even though you are going to uh, present it in your group, but there is a part of uh, your part that you need to present individually. You are given like three to four minutes to present your part. Okay. So marks will be given based on your performance. Okay, individually, all right. So proposal, basically this is group work. Okay, and you will get same mark with your group members. So please do together. Okay, I know that you are going to delegate the task. Student A, you do part, uh, uh, I mean, introduction. Student B, you do literature review. Student C, you do methodology. But after you have combined, you have to go through together. Okay, make sure introduction is linked with your methodology, your link with your abstract, link with your, um, what we call it, literature review, and so on. 
Okay, I'm afraid if you delegate the task without reading at the end, introduction benda lain, methodology jadi benda lain. So please be careful. Okay, so because this this is teamwork, please do it together. All right, next one is peer assessment on teamwork. Okay, this one I already um, uh, explained to you just now. You are given like 20 minutes to assess or to give marks to your um, friends. Okay, and then... Uh, duration for completed your full report is 10 weeks after you have done um, your proposal, okay? After you have done, submitted your proposal, then you can start focusing on your full report, all right? Full report is 40%, marks will be the same with your group, um, group members. And you're going to have portfolio assessment, okay? This one is another 20%. I would say that this is like a body smart uh, for you guys but you really have to do it um carefully okay i will show you the sample sample number one is we go back to uh oral pre uh, not oral presentation the proposal i have uploaded all the samples in my drive you can take a look okay so this is basically the sample of proposal okay we have introduction Okay, problem statement, objective, significant of study. Oh, you don't have to write uh, literature, literature review. Okay, limitation of study. Ah, sorry, I do. Previous studies, which is uh, literature review, only like one page. And the last one is methodology. So this is the what we call it the proposal, the one that you need to submit to me in week six. Okay. Next one is, okay, so this is the full report, okay, like 22 pages. So basically, you are going to follow this format, use this as a template as well, or also can. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I'm not really well. Um, acknowledgement. I mean, I'm not going to share everything, yeah? So let's look at the table of contents. So these are all the things that you need to have in your full report, okay? Terms of reference, abstract, acknowledgement, table of content, list of figures, okay? You are going to have introduction, methodology, findings, conclusions, and recommendation, references, and also appendix, okay? Okay, moving on to this one is the what we call it portfolio. Okay, this is 20%. Before this, this is 10% only. Okay, now we have increased to 20% to help you. Okay, so basically what sh should you include in your portfolio? Okay, number one, the article you have searched online related to your proposed study. So any articles that you use, you have to keep with you. Okay, so each student need to have at least one article only. All right, so what you need to do with that article is you have to highlight using highlighter or uh, this one you can just submit to me um, soft copy so you can just highlight the sentences containing information used or included in the introduction section. Okay, so you just highlight in introduction se section only. All right, and then transfer the selected information or sentences from the articles by paraphrasing them in the introduction section. You have done your report. Of course, you have uh, you have what we call you have um, uh, paraphrase those sentences. So what you can do is you can just copy from your report, not copy from the articles, other people articles. So you you copy from your own report because you are not allowed to copy word from from the articles that you refer to okay you need to take the information from that article you have to summarize or uh, or yeah you have to paraphrase and summarize and put it in your own uh report so when you do your portfolio you can just highlight the article that you use and then uh the one that you paraphrase you can just take it from your report okay and you also need to include first drafts and also correct version. Okay, number two, names and dates on all entries. So don't forget yeah, to put the names 
the, let's say the names of the articles or websites and the dates okay uh, uh, that you retrieve the information or the articles okay and then proof of the discussion at team collaboration such as whatsapp chats google meet and etc so if possible try to communicate using english because you need to screenshot everything that you have discussed starting from this week because you want to uh, you want to make a group right okay and you have to discuss your topic so if possible please discuss in english because you need to screenshot and keep all the in one file because you need to put it in your portfolio clear any questions so far you are going to revisit this again later if you're not clear any question for oh, now uh, we don't have any question okay so this is also portfolio sample okay that's why I told you this is like bonus mark for you, 20%. So please do it well. Okay. Avoid plagiarize other people's work because you need to run your work in, turn it in, not turn it in. We have a new um, apps with, uh, that we use. I forgot the, the name. I will let you know later. Not turn it in anymore. Your ATM, your ATM has. Um, has used different others. I, I forgot the name. I will let you know later. Don't worry. Okay. So this is a sample of portfolio. You can go and uh, take a look in my drive. Okay. Let's go back to the slide. Okay. So in total, you're going to have 100%. So that's why I told you, no free riders this semester. Okay. All of you have to involve you have to cooperate you have to do your part okay and then if you have any problem with your group members please let me know earlier all right earlier not towards the end of the semester okay next one is okay so written proposal these are all the parts that you need to include in your proposal background problem statement objective significance of the study limitation previous study and methodology you don't have to worry, I'm going to explain to you, inshallah, next week, okay? And then uh, samples of uh, proposal I have shown you just now, and the evaluation form also I have um, uploaded in my drive. You can go and see it. And then peer assessment also I have main, uh, explained to you, okay? So take into consideration the student's contribution in awarding a full score of five. If possible, just give five to your friends, unless he or she didn't do anything. Okay, then you can uh, lower down his or her mark. Okay, this is assessment rubric and then this is assessment Google form. Okay. All right, the written report. This is, uh, these are all the parts of the report that you need to have in your report writing. Okay, what else? Okay, so this is a rough guide. You can also refer this, this to this one. Let's, for example, background of the study, you can write 500 to 700 words. Problems of statement also same. Objective, two to three objectives, okay? Significance of study, like 100 to 150 words only. Limitation of study, 50 to 100 words. Previous studies, like uh, literature review, 200 words. Methodology is 100 words. Findings, eight to 10 items, okay? If group of four, eight to 10 items. If you have like five groups, you need to have 11 to 15 items. Items mean questions that you want to ask in your uh, questionnaire, okay? But I would advise you to have five members in the group, okay? Uh, if possible, please make it five member, uh, members in the group. All right. Okay, conclusion depending, uh, depends on the findings, okay? Um, let's say if you have like lots of findings, lots of data, then you need to explain more. Okay, recommendation also depends on the conclusion. Recommendation, uh, recommendation basically, you can share your ideas or you can share your, you can give your suggestions in recommendations. Okay, what else? All right. Okay, not turning in here. Yeah? Our regional, our regional. So, uh, you have to run your paper in our regional. So you cannot. Uh, ask for chat GPT, it's chat GPT to, uh, to help you to do your 
uh, proposal cannot. Okay, this is we talk about students integrity. This is time for you to learn because in semester six, I believe that you need to write your own FYP. So please, you have to start to practice starting from now. Okay, don't ask chat GPT to do your work. Okay, so all right. And then what else? Written report, okay, portfolio, right? Okay. That's all. So any question? Anything that you are not clear? Um, again? Yes. What kind of topics that we should do? Is it general topic or related to something? What do you mean by re related to something? Uh, maybe you have your own thing about education or or anything. Uh, I'm not going to give you team. You have to, maybe you can start uh, what we call it, um, searching from now the topic as long as it, it is not like uh, what we call it, um, not sensitive topic. You don't touch about salary, you don't touch about politics, uh, sexual issues and so on, then it should be okay. All right? All right. Thank you, madam. All right. Maybe you can talk about what? Plagiarism, what else? Um, uh, let, uh, in, if I have a few topics that I can uh, share with you. Okay? But uh, right now, you can start thinking of your topic. Basically, if your topic, uh, it sounds like easy, not too complicated, and not touch sensitive issue, policy issue, and so on, then it shouldn't be a problem. Okay? But let's see the, what we call it, uh, here, at the top. Sorry, not materials. We go to assessments. Now, this one is about <coughs> consumption of dietary, <laughs> consumption of dietary supplement. This one is about language anxiety. Okay, never mind. You can do, do your research first. Okay, and uh, uh, all right. So, what you can do today is I, I need a representative from group C and group D. Anyone? Group C and Group D, or we want to combine Group C and Group D, you can work together. You can sit together in one group. What do you think? My dear students, please respond. Do you want to mix Group C and Group D, Semester 3 and Semester 5 students to do it, to, you do it together? Yes, I can't. Afif, Afif, we can hear you. Not clear. Maybe you can write. I will follow me. We, we, we discuss first. Okay, you can discuss first because I also not sure the total number of you in group 3, SC and group D. So what you can do is, I need, can, I need one volunteer only lah. Can Afif help me? Afif, can you help me? I just want you to create one Google Sheet. Yes. Okay. Create one Google Sheet. Okay. In that Google Sheet, you will have like number of number of group. Let's say number one, group one, and then the list of name so that you can write down your name in that uh, column. Okay, five members in the group. And then your ID number, and then your topic next to your group, okay. And I also one one column to to for you to write whether you are from three C or five D. Is that okay? 
Then after you have done it, after it, please share the link in our WhatsApp group so everyone can start start to write their names, fill up, uh, fill in their names in that Google sheet. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Afif. So today, what you can do, uh, uh, what I want you to do is, I want you to go to my Google Drive. I want you to look at everything that I have uploaded. And I also want you to go and read, go to materials. You go to materials uh, folder. And then you read 1A, 1B, and number two. Please go back. We still have like one hour to go, one and a half hour. Please read 1A, 1B, and two. We will discuss in details next week. So perhaps next week also, we, you come to my class, you already have your group members, and if possible, you have already you already have your topic as well. So get so that I can check your topic and approve so that you can uh, proceed to to um, yeah to do your work later. Okay. You start working on your proposal after uh, I have approved your topic. All right. So any more question to ask students? Anything that you are not clear? No, madam. Everything is clear. Okay. All, clear. All right, great. So shall we call it a day for today? I mean, shall we end our class for today? I think yes, maybe. Okay. So what you can do is please go back and read 1A, 1B and 2. Okay, and find your group members. Ask everyone who's going or who would like to be your teammates. And also, you can start searching for topics. Okay, this is your homework. So next week, perhaps I already can see your group, uh, your your teams, your group, uh, your groups, and also your topics. And please come um, to the class. Uh, uh, by what, what you call it, reading all the topics already, 1A, 1B, and number 2. Okay, so we are going to start our class next week. So please make sure that you have a very strong internet connection next week. Okay, maybe we can start a bit late, around 11.15 next week, because we need to give time for group um, semester 5 to settle, or I mean to go back to their homestay, uh, home hostel, or you can stay in other classrooms, okay, to join my class. All right. So that's all for today, everyone. Thank you very much for coming and giving full cooperation. I hope to see you again next week. And please take today's attendance in your future. Okay. All right. All right. So that's all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you you may leave now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, madam. 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 You're welcome. Madam.